A quick look at the previous forecast. We had critical planetary geometry converging on 24 and 25 October. Actually from the 22nd to the 25th, three alignments. And as you can see on the 25th, we had a 6.3 and a 6.4. Still the largest seismic activity so far. I guess it could have been larger. We could have had a magnitude 7 earthquake. But again, that very much depends on the stress levels in Earth's crust. And we do not know that. And again, we see the grouping of earthquakes following critical planetary and lunar geometry. And with the next lunar peak, we see a magnitude 6 earthquake that occurred near the coast of central Peru. And it was later on the 28th. The last lunar peak occurred on November 1st. And again, we see a grouping of stronger earthquakes, magnitude 6, 6.1. And as you can see on the website, there was a slight possibility of a strong to major seismic event, 6, 7 magnitude, but probably not over mid-6 magnitude. That was the estimate. And so far, we had low 6 following the lunar peak. All in all, nothing over mid-6 magnitude in the last week, fortunately. What do we have in the first week of November? Yesterday afternoon, Venus lined up with the Sun and Uranus, and on the 5th, Earth will be between Venus and Uranus. This is going to be something to keep in mind, because the Moon will also make critical geometry later on the 4th, early 5th. And then we have a convergence of planetary geometry on November 8th and 9th, and I will cover that in the next forecast as well, because it also depends on the lunar geometry that follows on this critical planetary geometry. Looking at the SGI graph, we see that... A high lunar peak is going to occur later on the 4th, early 5th. Like I said, that's going to be the critical lunar geometry. And it will be followed by Earth in alignment with Venus and Uranus. That will be later on the 5th. In the solar system, we see that Earth is approaching the Venus-Uranus line. And the Moon is going to be in a critical position later on the 4th and 5th. And that is partially why we have a high lunar peak. If we select the 4th, we see that the Moon is also aligning up here with Jupiter and like I said it will be in a critical position with Venus and Uranus. This could potentially trigger a strong to major seismic event higher 6 to 7 magnitude in a worst case scenario primarily because of the position of the moon relative to Venus and Uranus and also Jupiter. So my estimate is that November 5, 6, maybe 7 is going to be more critical because of the high lunar peak and the planetary geometry. Mid to high 6, maybe magnitude 7 is possible but again it also depends on the stress levels in Earth's crust. Then on November 8 and 9, we see a clustering of critical planetary geometry. This is the purple and red peaks and converging with a higher lunar peak, 16 on the index. I will cover that in the next forecast as well, because it also depends on the next lunar peak. Right now, let's see what happens on the 5th, 6th, maybe 7th. Following the high lunar peak, 19 on the index, 20 actually here, which will be followed by Earth's exact alignment with Venus and Uranus later on the 5th. And then of course Mercury, Sun, Earth on November 8th in the afternoon, and a few hours later Mercury with the Sun and Uranus in alignment. And another convergence here with Mercury, Earth, Uranus on early on the 9th, and then several hours later the Earth between the Sun and Uranus. This could potentially trigger magnitude 8 following that critical geometry there, potentially. But again, we'll cover that in the next forecast. Always check out the website, the forecast, magnitude probability, and also the links to the social media channels. Be safe, everyone. Until next time. <laughs>